Welcome to this Windows channel and uh, we're gonna have this week a series on firewalls and what do you do and why you need to have a firewall that works to protect yourself and um, the first video we'll do today is to explain a little bit what a firewall is because this is one of the less knowns of PCs I would say most people don't really know what a firewall is and frankly in Windows and in your own network firewalls are pretty much that invisible thing that nobody sees but it's there and it does a job so a firewall is there to prevent attacks from the internet from worms viruses and so on from hackers trying to reach a computer and the way they work is by blocking specific traffic a firewall is programmed in a way that it knows what can go through and it knows what it should stop but of course a hacker can fool a firewall of course there are things that can be done to actually go through the firewall but it's very important to have one today because on the web if you would look at traffic generally on the web you'd notice that every minute there are what we call pings there are distant computers trying to access computers online and your own network is actually pinged probably several times maybe several hundred times a day just to see if we can go through to either take control or infect your computer in your home network in your house in your computer two types of firewalls are usually seen the first one is the one in Windows. Windows has its own firewall. As you see here, my firewall is on and it blocks all connection to apps that are not on the list of allowed apps and so on. So it tells me that my firewall here is working in Windows. And that's the first step. You should have the Windows firewall working. The second firewall, if you use a router, and most people do today, what's nice is there's what we call a hardware router. In Windows, the, the firewall is software. It is a piece of programming that is in Windows. In your router, you have what's called a hardware firewall, or it's a firewall that is programmed into your hardware or your router itself. This is your first defense. The one in the router is usually enabled. Most routers should have the firewall enabled by default. It's very important. But I have seen routers that actually have it turned off when you uh, install it. So if you know how to go and check your own router, or if you know a friend that could check it for you, make sure that you go in your router and you check that the firewall settings here, like it says here, IPv6, IPv4, are enabled. This is your first line of defense, and frankly, probably the best, because it is the dumbest of firewalls, if you can say. And it's funny to say, but because it is a dumb firewall, it is also the best firewall, because every time an outside computer tries to contact your computer, it has to go through this firewall, and this firewall will say, uh, no, I don't recognize this connection. I'm not letting it go through. Now, often people that have a router will panic because their own firewall in Windows may, might not work. It does happen sometimes that the firewall in Windows can break. Um, even though it is better that it works, if you have a router that has a firewall, at least even if your computer is not firewall, there is some protection. But the reason why um, you might ask, because that's also a question people ask is, look, I have a firewall in my router. Why should I have two firewalls? Well, the one on your router is the first line of defense. It's the one that blocks from the web. It blocks from the internet. But the one in your computer, if you have more than one computer in your own network, will protect you from your inner network so it means that for example let's say you have three or four computers your kids have computers your wife has a computer you got a computer let's say one of your kids has downloaded a virus or a trojan or something that wants to check the network 
one of the things that it will do is try to find other computers on the network that it can infect. So having your Windows firewall on will protect you from your own network being uh, attacked by some kind of virus on one of the computers. And the one in the router will protect you from the internet. So basically it's there to just make sure that the bad guys stay out and that your own network is okay. It prevents connections of all sorts. Now a firewall is uh, programmable. You can change the settings of the firewall. You can let apps go through. And you know what? In Windows what's really nice is that the firewall itself is actually very nice, pretty intelligent because when you install a new piece of software it's gonna ask you, oh, do you wanna have an exception for me in the firewall? And the reason is is that a lot of the software today need to connect to the internet and they need to get that permission from the firewall. So often when you install something that goes on the web you'll have that question asked, oh, uh, do you want to put an exception for me in the firewall? If you don't, it just can't go through. In the negative side sometimes it does happen that firewalls will block um, some software that really need to go on the web. In that case, there are some manual settings, and we'll be checking this week how to adjust the manual settings on the firewall. So firewalls are important. You should know you have one in your Windows computer, and you also should know if you're using a router that you also have one in your router, and it needs to be enabled. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, please ask, and we'll try to help you. And uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos. It's always fun to have feedback. And you know what? By giving us thumbs up, you give us better ratings on YouTube. It helps us a lot. And thank you for watching. And hope to see you soon.